Hey guys, this is Teacher K. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to talk about team building outdoor games. Well, actually, these games are not just designed to be outdoor. This is actually semi set of games semi-outdoor, semi-indoor set of games. I only have a few set of players for this video, but definitely you can be a lot more creative than that. You can play these games as many players as you want. Just be strategic on how many people you would like to include per team. So these ones you can play with your family, friends, youth ministry or youth group, and even your colleagues. Actually, this is already my second team building outdoor games. If you haven't seen that one yet, make sure to check that one out. I'll link it right here. Without further ado, let's start. Number one is Pitik Kalamansi. For this game, divide the players into teams and make them form one line for each team. A Kalamansi is placed on top of a bottle or holder or table that is a few meters away from the players. Once the game master says start, the first set of players will have to cover their one eye and spin around for five times before they set out to pitik na kalamansi. Successful or not, the player will have to go to the back of their line. The first team to successfully pitik na kalamansi five times or three times or whatever number you would like to set is the winner. Second game is the water bottle flip. Of course, you will have one bottle per team. Each team will have to flip the bottle using one hand. The first team to successfully flip the bottle three to five times first is the winner. Number three is the calamansi relay. Major materials here would be the calamansi and spoon. Prepare a certain amount of calamansi for each team. They are to relay all the calamansi to the other side of the line by using their own spoon, no hands involved. Once the calamansi falls to the ground, the player will have to bring the calamansi to the first person again. The first team to relay all of those calamansis to the other side will be the winner. <laughs> Just dropping by if you're around Asia or the Philippines, Lazada will be having a great Christmas sale this 12-12. See you there! Number 4 is Straw Challenge. Make sure you have small chocolate pieces or M&Ms or nips. In the Philippines, we have nips rather than M&Ms. So, the team's goal is to transfer the small pieces of chocolate to another container using the straw but they have to do it alternately. Number 5 
Number five is pass the ball. Because we don't have a ball here, we're just using the water bottle. Yeah, we're just being resourceful, but the ideal one is to really have one ball per team. And that is the ball that they will pass. It's like ball relay, but the pattern should be alternating. As you can see, these games are very simple and I tried my very best to make sure that the materials that will be used in these games are just minimal. Actually, we've used the same set of materials over and over again. So, which one is your favorite game? Comment it down below and make sure to like and subscribe. See you again next week for more exciting contents. Once again, this is Teacher K. Have a great day. Bye!